my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. I'm in such a silly mode. I've just done, um, I've literally just filmed my um, at my April Fool's now and that was so much fun. If you've not seen it, go and check it out. It was such a giggle. If only all nails could be messy like that. <laughs> right, so I am just working on a tip today, guys. I am without a model. So I've just given that a bit of a buff. And I'm using Dove from the Prophecy range just for a white base. And this is so nicely pigmented. Especially for the design that we're going to be doing today. I'm only going to need one coat of this. You'll get a good enough coverage with it from one coat if it is just... I mean, look at that. One coat. If I was just doing a white nail, plain white nail, I would um, use two coats. But it's just a background today, so... I'm breaking out the metallic inks, guys. These don't get used enough. They don't get used enough. So the ones I'm using are metallic purple, metallic blue, and metallic pink. <laughs> Sorry guys, that's my tick. If, you, if you're not aware of it now, or if you're not aware of it already, you will be now. I do have a, uh, a vocal tick. Um, so I'm going to be using the metallic inks and I'm going to get some of the slip solution, the aura slip solution. You can also use your, your kiwi cleanser for this. Um, it's just going to help us disperse these inks a little bit. So make sure you give your inks a really, really good shake. And I'm going to come in and just start popping these about. I am going to disperse them. So, don't in fact put lids on, Lisa. So, that's the blue. This is the pink. A little bit up there. And then we'll get a little bit of purple on here as well. These are so pretty. So pretty. So, make sure you've got some tissue to hand. Uh, and I'm just using an old 3D brush of mine. God, it is old. It's all caked up with all sorts. So just dip into your, your slip solution, your isopropyl alcohol. And we're just going to dab this on here and start blending. Start blending these colours. And just as, oh wow, look how pink that goes. Holy smokes. That's pretty. I want a bit more blue on there. It's pulled the blue out a little bit too much, so get a bit more on there. Oh, I like that. Okay. It's like a metallic tie-dye. Right, so wait for that to dry. Just let it air dry. Obviously, it's, it's alcohol-based. Your, your slip solution is pretty much all alcohol, as is your kiwi cleanser. So it will air dry. Uh, top coat. If I was top coat, where would I be? Right there. Oh, shall we do this mat? Yeah, let's do this mat. Where's my mat top coat? Hold that thought. Okay, so I've got my velvet matte top coat. I really like this already. I've no idea how this is going to look when it's gone matte. I guess we'll find out in about 30 seconds. I really like that. If I don't like it matte, I can always just whack a shiny top coat on the top, can't we? That's the plan. That's what we'll do. 
but we'll see how this looks i'm going to be doing some 3d stuff on it in clear gel so by having the matte base it's really going to make the 3d flowers pop but they'll still pop anyway if we don't like the matte then we can um just go over it with gloss and obviously nail can have got such a, a nice range of your inks they've got the metallic ones and then they've got the normal inks as well look what i've just done i've just spilled that all over myself i'm so messy honestly I, look at me. I really like that i really really like that matt that is so nice oh my god look at me <laughs> let me go wash my hands okay making a mental note for future that the inks the inks don't come off so easy <laughs> Never mind. Okay, I really like that mat. That looks so nice. Right, pay attention, Lisa. So, um, you've got two choices for this. You can, if you've got crystal, crystal total, I always call it crystalis totalis. If you've got crystal totalis, you can use that for this section. If not, you can use your glass fibre gel. Um, both of those products have got a thicker consistency, so they're easier to build up height to give a more 3D effect. Um, if you haven't got either of those, you can just use your top coat. You're not going to get the height that you would with a thicker viscosity product. That was a mouthful. Thicker viscosity product. You're not going to get the height. However, you'll still get the nice effect. So let's let's go this way. I'm just going to create... petal shapes like so so keep going back into your fibre gel or your crystal totalis oh god I'm getting in a mess here and because we've got a matte base on this as well your product shouldn't run it's still going to self level it is still a gel but it won't run because it's got that matte base to grip on. So I'm just going to give that a quick flash cure. And pop some of this on the back of my nail. Oh, I love this already. I think I say that about every nail I do. I love this already. I love this so much. One here. Another one here. And then I'm going to do the same again down here. Squeeze another one in. If you haven't got room for another one, don't worry about it. I'm so not in shot. Yes, just add a little bit more height to these. Okay, when you're happy, let's get that in the lamp for full cure. So your fibre gel does need top coating, so you're going to have to do this really, really carefully. So I'm just using the no wipe top coat. I'm still using my 10 mil liner. And I'm going to very, very carefully just top coat each section, each little bit. Nice and carefully. flash cure and then I can do the other flower Shush. top coat this bit over here and pop that back into the lamp and we're just going to add a couple of small crystals if I can find them I've had them, there they are so I'm using the Aurora Borealis crystals. 
So these are Aurora Borealis and then these are your rainbow ones here. So I'm going to be using the, the dinky dinky ones. Maybe the next one up as well. No, next one up from that. These two, I think. These two. So just with my top coat, I'm going to get a little bit of top coat. You can use your crystal totalis on this bit as well. I'm going to blob a little bit in there. Where's my crystal picker? I'm going to get one of the larger crystals pop that there and then one of the smaller crystals and just pop that next to it make sure they're on the nail and then same again on this side here i think i'll just use a dinky one on this side because it's a bit smaller there we go I'm going to pop that into the lamp for a full cure. And here it is. Game focus. There it is. Focus. Focus, camera. Focus. I really like that. I need to do more of this matte metallic inks because will you bloody focus? I'm all about this now, right now. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys, don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below, and more importantly make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nailcomy.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.